Hello and welcome to What the Hey. Thank you for joining me to learn the answer to a question that I received. And when I go to my notebook, I see that the question is written as What the Hey are Komodo dragons? And this question comes from Big Chief Brother. So hello to you and thank you very much for the question. Because we're talking about Komodo dragons today. Everybody look, this is not a lizard, but it's a dog. It's, it's Toby. Say hello. Hello, Toby. So in terms of a very basic answer and introduction to this question, I would say that when it comes to animals, there is always one that is like the strongest and biggest in any species. And in the case of lizards, that would be the Komodo dragon. So for the sake of this video, what I'm mainly going to be talking about are the general and basic facts about this lizard, just so you can know how it lives, what it eats, what it does, what it looks like. So to start out, like with really any animal, they always have fancy names. So there's like the scientific name for the Komodo dragon, uh, but they're also called Komodo monitor, which is kind of another name for a lizard. Uh, they're also called land crocodiles, because if you look at pictures of these things, they're huge and they kind of do be looking like crocodiles. So that makes sense. Uh, but there's also like the OG name that people who live on the islands around these creatures call them. So there are some names if you want to refer to Komodo dragons as something other than Komodo dragons. So you may be concerned about the likelihood of seeing one of these things in your everyday life and the probability of that is not very high. Where Komodo dragons tend to live are on four different Indonesian islands and most of these places are hot and dry so places where like lizards can lay out in the sun and just relax. So these places are usually tropical forests, savannas, or open grasslands, like areas where they can kind of see where they're at but still have places to hide if they need to. So I said earlier that Komodo dragons are the largest lizard in the species and that's because they can get up to like 9 to 10 feet long and they can weigh around 150 pounds which basically means that they're an apex predator because they're super big and super strong. And they're usually active during the day, so if you happen to live somewhere on the Indonesian islands um, and you're just kind of walking around during the day, please be careful. So because of their size and their strength, they're pretty much on the top of the food chain. Like what they eat ranges from invertebrates to different kinds of birds, just generally fairly large mammals. Humans are relatively off the menu. Um, they don't really go after people. They can if they want to, but usually we're fine. Moving on, with regard to what Komodo dragons look like, they usually have super long tails, they have about 60-ish teeth, um, they have a really long yellow forked tongue, and they have a lot of like armored scales, so they're pretty tough. One of the big things about Komodo dragons are that they use their tongue to basically like detect, taste, and smell things, like their sight's not good, and forked tongues are actually really helpful because they kind of like show where the smell is coming from, which is why it goes in like two different directions, you know, it's not like ours, it's cooler. Moving on to how Komodo dragons live, they can get up to about 30 years old, which is way longer than I expected. Generally, they mate in pairs around like May to August. Uh, they lay eggs around September, which they can get up to like 20 eggs, which is a lot. And usually those hatch around April. So that's the general timeline of what they're doing. One of the cool things about Komodo dragons is that they are one of those animal species that can do asexual reproduction and it's the case where it's like parthogenesis where it's like the female can lay eggs on her own without any help. I believe most of those eggs turn out to be male but just the fact that they can do that is so cool. In regard to some history about Komodo dragons, people around the world outside of the Indonesian islands heard about these things in like 1910 and then they were telling everyone else about like these giant lizards that they thought were crocodiles and everyone was like that is so terrifying. Which realistically if you just heard descriptions of these things that's kind of scary but also if you see pictures these things are huge so in general they're pretty spooky. One of the sad things about Komodo dragons is that they are listed as an endangered species, but they are protected under Indonesian law and there was also a Komodo National Park made in 1980, so people are trying to make sure that they're not like gone because they are really cool and I just in general think that's awesome. So in regard to my opinions about Komodo dragons, one of the cool things about them is the fact that I'm glad they don't really attack people because if they actively did, I don't feel like that'd be great for like us as a species. <laughs> 
because obviously these are really big lizards. Their bite force is really strong. It's not like the strongest animal ever, but it's strong. They got a lot of teeth, so that's kind of scary. They move really fast. They kind of move funny. Like if you watch them run, it's funny, but also if you're running from one, that's not funny. I think the first time that I ever heard about Komodo dragons was when I was playing Zoo Tycoon as a child and one of the exhibits that you can have is like a Komodo dragon exhibit and when you put the animals in their exhibit they make a weird sound or they just make an animal sound and it scared me when I was a kid but I always thought they were cool so I always put them in my zoos but anyways that's the first time I ever heard of them I think they're pretty neat. But as always, I put the links to the information that I found in the description. So if you want to learn more about them, I have a few like videos included as well. So if you're a visual person, there you go. Uh, but I believe that is the answer to the question. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.